What's going on guys? Here with another video. As you can see by the title, we have a really cool, crazy shoe that might not be on YouTube yet. We have a PE that we're gonna show you in person, first-hand look, it's a wild shoe. As you can see behind me, it's kind of busy today. It's a holiday, it's the first day of spring break, so I'm gonna get back to it. It'll be another day in the life as well. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. We'll see you guys here shortly. Doing okay today? Yeah. Staying dry out there? Yeah, trying to. Did we already, we already uh, talked about numbers on these? Yeah, we did. Yeah, okay. 330, right? Yeah, 330, and then four for those. Do you want to pull the trigger on that? Yeah, we're doing four. Four? Uh, not something you see walking in every day. And then obviously, hmm? SB4s literally cannot have enough of these. This is probably, I mean, honestly, probably our best selling shoe right now. I would argue that shoe of the year? I think it will be. Think about that. Can't really be that big. I can grab this I'd say just run it by car. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. 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 in the front? Yeah, just, I mean, like, you know, it's a lot of, I had three pairs of them, and, like, for, for the front, man, like, a lot of them was, like, I love this shoe, man. Yeah. <laughs> Such a good shoe. I think they need that. Hey, Jordan Brand, reimagine these. Uh, yeah. uh, just wanted to take another look. Just, yeah, just, just name the three things. Um, it's tough because it will naturally crease over time, but sometimes that can be hard to explain to customers. I wouldn't feel comfortable selling it as brand new. I'd feel like I'd have to sell it as tried on just because of the crease. What you looking at? 350. Would you feel comfortable doing it? I know it is a difference, but I just, let's say you came in and you were like, hey, this has a crease on it. I'd be like, it's new, but it's, it's just tough sometimes. I would feel comfortable selling it as tried on. Yeah, we can do a kind of awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I really yeah. Yeah. Right. We got two Jordan 4s. One of our cu uh, customers just dropped off. Pine green, as you already see the box. One of our best sellers. This shoe pretty much sells out every time we get it in. I've had times where I bought one and literally the next customer in line was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put the other one back. Let me grab that. This is a great shoe. Other one's a little bit different. Not something you always see, especially in this condition. White cement 4. Great shoe. We bought it as tried on. Although it could probably pass as new, wouldn't feel comfortable selling it as new just because it does have a little bit of creasing in the toe box just due to age. Shoes new, gonna have to sell it as tried on. Had to kind of explain that. Obviously the customer was very understanding of it. Um, it does affect the price a little bit. We got at a deal where he felt comfortable with it. We feel comfortable selling at a price that tried on. Uh, by the time you see this video, this will be in store. Tried on, pass as <laughs> new white cement for it. Bubbles clear, no cracking, no chipping, no separation. It's a great shoe. You guys can find it Soul Priorities in store. Charlotte, you can find it down below on our website, soulpriorities.com. Hopefully it's still there. Man. I'm gonna send a regular customer. Yeah. Yeah, when we ask your Instagram to say Soul Priorities. Yeah. I work for Josh. Yeah. 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 That uh, perfect game. It's yours for the low price of 180. See when it says 100, I get it for 40 dollars here. Shout out Sophie. That's crazy. <laughs> this is automatically using money. That boy talking crazy. You got the fresh cut. Oh, YouTube. We do size swaps on most shoes. Don't bring me a PE thinking you can get a size swap. That's not gonna happen. But even like $800 shoes, I'll size swap you. Just has to make sense for every party involved. I'm not gonna straight swap a... Just, like a seven for a 12? Yeah, I can't do that. It has to make sense. A um, 3C for a nine? It's I've had wild ones, man. I've had people bring me a three and a half in grade school and be like, I need a 13 in men's. And they're like, it's 20 bucks, right? And I'm like, oh, bad news. It's not 20 bucks, but I can still take care of you. It's, gonna, it's just gonna cost a little more than 20. But we're reasonable. We're just trying to make it make sense. 
As I said earlier in the video, we have a very special shoe for you guys here in store. It is a University of Florida Gators PE Jordan 1 High. I don't know if there's any on YouTube. Gio's gonna have to fact check me on this one. I believe this might be the only pair available on YouTube that you guys have seen firsthand. Um, but a very, very special shoe. We were lucky enough. It's a size 11. Um, we have it here in store. It's, I mean, the materials are crazy on this. I mean, if you look at the tongue, you look at the, the materials that they use, they have that alligator print around the collar and also around the toe cap. This is just a very, very special shoe. Um, all the way down to the aglets on the laces, high quality. It has that waxy feel to it. It's very similar in my eyes to like what the Travis Scott lows are. Um, very, very special shoe. I mean, this is, Gio, your thoughts on it? Ah, oh, man, this shoe is crazy. Yeah. I love the color blocking. They really, they, they knocked it out of the park because they went with a very safe, good color blocking with the bread toe, yeah. black toe colorway, uh, color blocking. So I think it's a great shoe, great colors. You know, the materials are insane. Oh, yeah. Uh, like he had mentioned, there's... It's like alligator skin or scales. Is that an alligator or a crocodile? Uh, well, they're the gator, so I would assume oh, it'd be, yeah. Okay, see, I don't know alligator. sports like that. Uh, so yeah, the gator skin all along the blue. That's crazy. And then right there too. I mean, Insane. even this is like a reptilian vibe to yeah. it because it looks very scaly, very similar to what this is around the collar. Um, no, nah, but this is, a, uh, I mean, I can't say enough good things about this shoe. I'm just a fan of PEs. There's rumored to be a less than 100 pairs of these in the world. Um, who knows how many are actually for sale. We have one available, size 11. Um, and even cooler, we got this, today is Friday, we got this when, third Tuesday. The next Next day, Wednesday, we had a UNC low PE walk in the door. I mean, the fact that we had two PEs back-to-back -back days walking to the store, um, we're very lucky that we even have opportunity like that. But Gio didn't even get a chance to come in and nope. see that pair. Kind of bummed. Yeah, it sold within like 24 hours. And that gum bottom on that shoe, it's wild. If you guys do want to see one of the PE lows and you live in the DMV area, check out our store up there. Go see Juice, go see Tavares. We have one of the Howard PE lows. Should be right in that front case. Exactly exactly where you can find this in our store. Right as you walk in, you can see this. Um, very, very special pair. Um, as always, you can find it online. You might have to jump through some hoops to get it to you safely. We take trades on shoes like this, so if you guys are looking to, you know, get rid of some stuff in your collection, put it towards something that nobody else has besides possibly players and people that work at the school, um, you know where to find it, man. Sole priorities. Not many people can say that. We can. Come see this shoe for yourself. This is something that everybody has to see. It is a very cool shoe. I just can't say enough good things about this shoe. What's up guys? Back here, day two. Gio decided to bless us with his presence for two days straight. Um, Saturday, it's terrible weather outside. It's cold, it's so rainy, bad, man. it's nasty out. Um, so mall, kind of busy, because people can come inside. It's warm, it's a nice, warm, welcoming environment here at Soul Priorities, but just picking up where we left off yesterday. Just a couple extra things, you know, see probably some trades, buying, selling, the whole nine yards as normal. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy this part too. It's a rainy Saturday at SP. It's cold outside, but you know how you can stay warm and get high? We got heat at SP, baby. Last yeah, time you seen a motorsport full dead stop. Hello, heat. Tour red for? Hello, heat. Heat. <laughs> it's cold outside. We keep it hot. He's calling Teddy's picking up. Ring, ring, baby. Alright, so you just cashed out a little bit. Got a nice foam runner from 20. Or Wait, hold up. Oh, whoa. What did he say? Edit that out, Gio. Cut. <laughs> Whoa. We got a nice phone pause that we just cashed out on. Um, 2017. So good pair there. That will probably find its home up in DC. Is that a different website? No, same website. Soulbriders.com. 24-7. Even if it's there, ship to you. And also a Concord. So can never have enough of these. They always sell very fast. So always looking to buy them. If you have a pair, bring it in. We will cash you out. 750. What's up guys? 
back again. I know when in the last video I was up hanging out at the DMV store for a little bit. Video from the DMV store coming soon. Geo, when are we going up there? Soon, right? We'll figure it out, bro. Probably after your million dollar Vegas trip, right? Oh my God. Well, um, we're here in the shop Saturday. It's miserable weather outside. Um, lots of people shopping. Everybody got paid yesterday, so. Trying to uh, trying to make sure we maximize everybody, give everybody a stellar experience. The weather has not stopped the people today. No, God no. How are you feeling today, man? Feeling I feel fantastic. like no one ever asked the camera guy how. You know what? I I appreciate it, man. It's the little things. What's been selling good for us lately, Conway? What's our best selling sneaker right now besides pants? I was about to say, uh, <laughs> it's been pants for the last two years now. Get through the weekend. <laughs> Is it a shoe or a category? Category. New Balance. Runners, man. People like the dad. Dad shoes. You see what's on foot. With us. Dad, Dad shoes. We have now. the biggest collection of New Balance, and it's only getting bigger. We're about to double it over the next three yeah. months. We have the biggest collection in North Carolina. You can come. I wasn't going to say anything, but he's right on that. I'll, we have I'll like say it. 25, 30 different New Balance SKUs, so get at us. Colors, just alone. And then sizes on top of the colors. I mean, hold on, what? got five, hold six, on, hold on. Oh, seven, don't, don't, eight, don't talk. We'll nine. just show him the selection. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll just show him the selection. Oh, it's a little dark down here. Zach said he's going to put his money where his mouth is. We got three whole bays of New Balance. I got about an easy hunting ball. Three whole bays. You know what, I'm gonna pass this to you so you can really show the people. A little honey bun of New Balances. Bricks and wood. Uh. So this shoe was super limited when it came out. They, the hype on it was so crazy that they had to put in another order with New Balance. And then they put in a third order with New Balance. It is finally done releasing. This shoe is going to shoot up in value. And then we put in an order with New Balance. <laughs> but look at the insole. Grass. The back's got a little flap. The laces, man. The laces. It's the laces for me, man. Yeah, they have the same exact laces as the uh, You're the Rabbits in the last two months. What's the worst shoe we bought in store? Ah. Uh. Brian. I don't know, man. Like, I mean, we I feel like we've gotten better at buying. Yeah, we we definitely buy some bricks, and so we're not going to be oblivious. I take to my that. worst shoe that I ever bought. But your worst shoe. My worst shoe I ever bought was a uh, off-white Converse. Ooh, such that a, shoe uh, sucks. Such a really ugly bad. shoe, bro. Yeah, the first one's nice. Like the actual. Yeah, the first one. Oh yeah, the first first one's yeah, that one's cool. But that nobody's paying really cool. fifteen hundred. The bucks second for one just Converse. strayed so far from the original. It's just so bad. Yeah, the orange bottom. Not so dog bad. water. Not Zebo, what's been going on, man? You've been out of town for a little while now. I was telling Gio, I just spent about a week, week and a half up in the DMV. Um, I didn't get to go to the opening, but I'm going up there trying to make a make a difference. Make a positive difference. That store is doing super good. Staff is amazing. All ready to learn. All super positive. I'm really, really excited about that location. Like that mall is it's huge. huge. It's three, huge, four bro. stories connected to the Metro. Ritz Carlton and Nordstrom at the mall. That's such a good hotel. Who stopped five, with you minute, the five minutes away from the White House. It's in the nation's capital. How could it not succeed? Braves player stopped in. Um, he didn't want any- Day before opening day. Day before opening day. Didn't want any of the boxes. So he cashed out on like 25 pairs, threw away all the boxes. So hey, we had to make a trip to the dumpster and just throw away all his boxes. That would have hurt crazy. my heart just watching. Dude, Gio, dude. he bought a cactus plant. Cactus uh, That's crazy. Cactus uh, plant dunk, reverse mocha Travis, uh, threw away Gio, the box. Fill us in, man. You're always behind the camera. What's going on in the life of Gio? You know, just spinning money. Take, <laughs> boxing. Take, taking it day by day, you know, like he said, boxing, dropping pounds, down 76 pounds. How much do you weigh? You, you're probably I'm at 210. Oh my Damn. god, dude, he's fucking, he's creeping up. Started at 286, so. When was that, 286? Uh, 286 was about, uh, about a year ago. So, one year ago, I was 205, Gio was 286. Today. Mm -hmm. Big improvements in the I'm, personal lives here at SB. I'm 205. <laughs> we're not, we're not <laughs> and he is at 210. <laughs> Gotta get to 160 in order to fight. Gio's so. boxing now. Is, to he, Gio's gonna to get to 160. kick somebody's ass. Yeah. So, Gio, so you right can't here, put on any muscle. We're gonna no, insert uh, a clip of Gio. It's a, it's upper. a, it's like a fine line I have to walk with, like my muscle and then like fat. Dude, 160 so. is light. I was 160 in like elementary. It's because if I fight right now, like I'm fighting dudes that are like, your ass bigger kicks. than he, like tall, like they're tall. He is like six eight. Yeah, they're tall dudes, bro. Yeah, I'm heavyweight got, right now. Like they're tall they got guys. Reach. Uh, Gio, what else are you doing? Five. Where are you going? Oh yeah, I'm going to Vegas. 
12 days. Ryan Garcia, Gervonta Tank Davis. It's gonna be a movie. Gio's got a mean fit cooked up. Mean fit. I'm gonna have to tag Soul Party. So I got I got some of it from here. Yeah. So Jonathan hey, styled it. Yeah. Shout out to Jonathan. R.I.P. Jonathan. Jonathan. We miss you, man. Yes, man. Jonathan. Big John. I hope you're doing well. We miss you, bro. All right. Here's three of my questionable sneaker exit buys that are still available in store. I stand by these buys. These are all amazing shoes. I'm not sure why they haven't sold. Brand new Fear Four. Isaiah is not a fan of any of these. The display cactus plant. I think it's still a conversation starter. Gio, can you uh, insert a clip from the sneaker exit video of me saying these are bad buys? The questionable Zach buy of the day. I told him, man. Questionable buy of the day. Connor's not going to be happy. Connor's not going to like that one. <laughs> This is my favorite sneaker, like all, top five sneaker of all time right here. So even if this doesn't sell, I do enjoy looking at this every day, so. It reminds you of why you're in the business. Uh -huh. I hit these on the sneaker. But notice it's in the store and not at his house. Right. <laughs> hey, student loans gotta get paid. <laughs> Another earlier view. This is the Toro Bravo Jordan 6, icy bottom. Very nice. Suede upper. Very good shoe. No extra laces. Box is lit though. Simple. Not much going on here. That's gonna that's gonna move though. Yeah, these are gonna sell really well. Um, these are releasing in June. You can shop them today at soulpriorities.com from your house. Thank you guys for watching another Soul Priorities YouTube video. This will drop on Sunday. Watch out for new videos every single Sunday at 6 p.m. Shop all our inventory at both locations, over 7,000 pairs, soulpriorities.com. Conway, you wanna add anything? We're at TikTok, ah, on YouTube, on Instagram, mm. at Soul Priorities. Facebook, no. email us. Ooh, we're not really, I don't know what's going on with Facebook. Facebook. Not Facebook, Facebook is clipped. Email us if you have any questions. Soul Priorities, DM us. NC at Ask Gmail. for Abe. Zach, Tavares, Juice, Conway, everybody, ask for us. Can we cut that out? Thanks, guys. So I just spent my last week in the DMV, back stock room. Looks spectacular. You can eat off the floor. Can we just get a live look at the, the SP Charlotte back room right here? But it looks like my college dorm room after we had That's like Zach's favorite line. One time, like six months after we opened, Zach went into a frenzy one night after the store closed. He goes, oh, it looks like my college dorm room back here. Oh, sorry, we're just so busy, you know. This is not my top priorities. Soul priorities, soul priorities Charlotte is busy. Soul. Not busy. <laughs> they're, they're not busy, we don't, we don't sell anything. We don't sell anything? No excuses, Conway. What are these? <laughs> this, this is just. That's just the worst. It's a nightmare, headache. If you. Everything in this back room is pretty much a headache. Yeah. Like, we gotta figure this out. Everything at the desk is available. Just offer. Another. It's free. It just come, offer, come, come pick it up. <laughs> it's all mismates. <laughs> Employee 